Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. If you're preparing for GRE, GMAT, or SAT, uh, these problems will help you sharpen your math skill. The problem that we are about to do today is for day number 37. Here's the problem. The question is. Very simple, very straightforward problem. How many different positive integers are factors of three hundred and fifteen? How many different factors, how many different positive integers rather, how many different positive integers are factors of 315? I want you to pause the video now, do what you have to do. Once you have the answer, then you can resume it. Okay? Do not continue watching it as I've always told you before, do not continue watching the video until you solve it yourself first. Otherwise, there is no bloody point in it. To try to solve the problem after you've already seen how it's done. I'll give you about 5 seconds to pause and unpause, 5-10 seconds. How many different positive integers are factors of 315? Alright. The key, the key here is to make sure that you go systematically. You must go systematically, logically, in some sort, in some sort, in some sort of a defined manner. If you do not go systematically, you're going to get lost. You're going to muck it up. I've seen many a times students trying to solve a problem like this, and you walk around the classroom and you see. Uh, their organization is about the same as uh, is of the same level of the same caliber as a bunch of chickens running around on the farm with their heads cut off. That is not the sort of organization you want. You want to go systematically. So here's the 315. In other words, don't go all over the place. 315. What can we divide it by? Let's start with the smallest number. Obviously 2 is of no value. Let's try by 3. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 1 0 time. One goes, that 1 goes and joins this card becomes 15. And that goes into 5 times the 15. One more time. 3 go, divided by 3 is 1. How many 3's in a 1? That's a 0. There are how many 3's in a 1? There are 0 3's in a 1. And that one goes and joins this card becomes 15. And how many three? How many threes in 15? The answer is five. Let's divide that by five. So 10 gives us two, and this five gives us one. I see 21. Let's go one more time. Three. If we can go three here, we could have gone three here. That's right. Because you see, we had 105, and 105, the sum of the digits. Sum of the digits of 105 is one plus zero plus five, which is six, and you, uh, hopefully you know this thing, that if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. I did not see that one, 105 could have been divided by 3. I realized it when we got to 21. If, if we get 21 out of it, that means that if 21 obviously is divisible by 3, then so is 105, which I did not see. So anyway, it doesn't matter. So, and that's the 7. 7 divided by 7, of course, is 1. Let's try. Let's write it more systematic way. In other words, in other words, instead of going this route, instead of going this route, 3, 5, 3, we could have gone, we could have gone 3, which is 1, 0, and 5, obviously. On the 3, how many 3's in a 10? 3, 3's in a 10. 1 goes here, becomes 35. 
Let's divide 35 into 7. It gives us 5. And then 5 to the voila. Now, let's figure out the factors. Let's start with singles first. So we have, we have, don't forget this one, it's very important. One is a factor. One, which is why I took the trouble of going all the way to one there. One times three times three. One times three times three. One times three times three times five times seven. Those are your singles. So the factors are the singles, which we just did here, 1, 3, 5, and 7. Those are the singles. Let's do pairs now. Let's do pairs now. So find the pairs. We have to have 1 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7. Now when you're doing the pairs you don't have to worry about 1 because 1 time any number is just number itself. So let's do the pairs. So we have 3 times 3 that's a 9. 3 times 5 is going to give us 15. 3 times 7 is going to give us 21. And these are all factors of 315. And finally so we did 3 times 3 we got 9. 3 times 5 we got 15. 3 times 7 we got 21. And finally uh, 5 times 7, that is going to give us 35. Now let's do the triples. Now let's do the triples. Again we have 1 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7. And one more time, one plays no role in it, but I like to put it in anywhere. I put it all the, always put it in because when we're doing the singles, if you're not careful, you're going to leave out one and you're going to end up getting the wrong answer. Although in this case, I just noticed here, the answer choices are the only time when they are spaced by just one is six and seven. So if you got as far as seven, you would know that you cannot miss out the one because you will be off by one. Ah, this is six and the seven is the only one. So if the correct answer turns out to be 7, because you include the 1 in it, and if you don't include the 1, you might end up picking 6. But if the correct answer turns out to be 9, then there is no 8 here. So that's the giveaway that something went wrong. Here also there's a space of 2. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm asking, because I'm the one who did it. Anyway, let's do the triples. Triples here. I see one triple here. 3 times 3 times 5. 3 times 3 times 5. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 5 is 45. And let's do another triple in a different color, which would be, which would be, I shouldn't have done this circle around it. So the, so the first triple is, the first triple that we find is 3 times 3 times 5. And the next triple that we're going to find are, is 3 times 5 times 7. 3 times 5 times 7. 3 times 5 is... 3 times 7 is 21. 21 times 5. 20 times 5 is 100. So 21 times 5 must be 105. And finally, so we have, we have our singles. We have our pairs. We have our triples. And finally, when you get to the 4 quadruple, 1, sorry, 1, 2, 3 and 4, that's the number itself. And so finally, the number itself, 315. So how many pairs, how many factors did we find? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a list of all of these factors up here so you can see it. Erase this part, the question. That is if I can erase it. It's so difficult. So 
So let's write down all of our let's find, write down all of our factors systematically. So we had our singles and we found four of them. One, three, five and seven. One, three, five and seven. Then we had our pairs right here. The nine. 15, 21, and 35. Then we had our triples, which are right here 45 and 105. And finally, the number itself. Our number itself, which is 315. So, how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. These are all factors of 315. There are eleven factors. The answer is E. That's it. That was the end of it. As I said before, from the very beginning, there is not much in this problem. As long as you go systematically, you must have some plan, you must have some strategy. Don't go all over the place. Don't try to find the factors of 315 at random. You, you, will have a, you will have a tough time, you'll end up consuming a lot of time, and there is a good chance that you might miss one or two. Do you understand? There are 11 factors. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor for GRE, GMAT, SAT, TOEFL, also algebra, geometry, statistics, you name it. You can go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. I tutor over the internet via Skype and of course face to face in person. Or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and you can send me an email from there. Alright?